Hello and welcome Elder Lords. Today we're going to be helping you take your build to the next level. I'm level 260. I spent over 200 hours of this game. A lot of that time was spent experimenting. I beat the game before the 100 hour mark and then I just explored, picked up all the great items and pretty much all the weapons and now I'm going to be showcasing some of the key components of the game and we want to talk about the elements that you want to focus on. First and foremost, you want to pick the weapon you love that you feel you can have the most fun with and that you want to enjoy. Making sure that's leveled up, of course, that's going to enhance the damage that it can do and the potential of things that you can add to it. Secondly is the talisman. There's talisman here will enhance your playstyle. And we're going to talk about what combinations you can use, how to enhance the specific playstyle instead of just mixing it up you're going to switch this at any point depending on what weapons and style you would like to play on top of this you have grease grease is going to boost your weapons damage and there's tons of different versions from fire magic lightning holy poison and so much more every single type of effect you can have on your weapon that's how you're going to boost your weapon in general almost every weapon can be boosted there are things in these spells that are going to be great for example armaments there's some really great armaments that's going to boost the, your abilities and there's tons of them in the game for you to try and test out and you're going to see that man these are really great and i really enjoy playing with some of these Last but not least, Ashes of War. Ashes of War are an easy way to take a cool weapon that you really love and then add some special flair to that weapon. You can put any type of ability that you have picked up throughout the world to enhance it. As you can see, for my actual spells, this one right here is for magic. The Terra Magic. The right here once i activate this anywhere inside this realm my magic damage will be very high that's one way to enhance my abilities and then of course you have for your fire here this is going to boost your incantations the point is these there's multiple of them and there's a ton of them depending on your play style is what you want to use this magic one will be useless if you don't have intelligence and if you're not focused on magic spells or magic abilities that's why you would switch it over to the incantation version here where it's going to boost your physical and fire attacks this is a very critical one now let's change it up there's something amazing here called the golden vow this one is in general the best one in the game for you to boost your attacks and your defense in general this is going to be critical i can cast spells onto my blade so now this regular blade has become an awesome lightning blade and now the lightning damage from this blade will be very high be doing some serious lightning damage now let's just say that's not what i want to do and i'm rocking a more bloody style blade which that's another build that i have created which is fun some amazing bloody style fire okay guess what that is not the only way to play i can go ahead and turn this into a magic blade very easily now i'm not going to be picking all of these three but the principle is the same. These are the ones that you want to pick depending on your playstyle. Magic is going to do the most damage when you have intelligence and your build is based off of magic. Okay, so focus on that if that's how you're playing. It's going to really enhance the build. The understanding of being able to combine a bunch of this is going to enhance your playstyle. On top of that, you have your ashes that are going to do even more damage to your playstyle depending on what you really like if i want some specific damage let's say i want magic damage on this i'll throw that on there and all of a sudden i have magic damage on my weapon on top of all the other elements and now i can throw this in here as an ability as i fight these swords will attack any enemy that's in my area okay so these are just some ways of enhancing your playstyle and the key component here is that you can decide how you want to play. This isn't about going on YouTube and taking what someone else's build says. You have to do it their way. You're going to do it your way. You're going to do it the way you feel is most fun. 
Now, I understand that some people want me to make specific builds. This game is so big. I've tried a lot of builds after 200 hours. I've tried every build pretty much, but I have not made a build video yet. So if you're watching this and you want to see one, leave in the comment what style of build you would like. Make sure you also like the video. That way I know that you're serious. And then from there, we will go ahead and work on some builds specifically to what you guys are demanding okay so combining these are very critical and there's tons of them that are really good and we're going to kind of go through a couple real quickly the glint blade right here is powerful because you can stun people it does a lot of stun damage in my personal opinion i really love it funny enough the flame strike this is a very close quarters one but you can also turn your blade on fire when you use it so when i press this fire if i throw my blade at the same time i'm able to put my blade on fire it's a trick that i like to do and it's one of the builds i like to play all of a sudden my blade has flames for a couple seconds and it's going to do some extra damage just from that now it's not naturally going to put your blade on fire unless you strike with r2 aka your main strike to get it on fire as well so there's tons and tons of ashes of war i would say experiment look around what you personally want to play with and that you feel is going to be the best for yourself and then pick that personally another one that i really love and i've been using a lot of Sipical right here we're gonna and i probably butchered that name so as you can see right here i put the blade in me now i got stream bloody damage so i'm gonna be able to strike and bleed damage is going to increase drastically okay this is another way to play there's tons and tons of styles depending on what you like and personally i mix it up all the time so those are just some elements and how to go about it for example if, I, if i'm looking to just be faster and be very cool with the way i play i can throw this bloodhound step this is a very fun way to play because you're pretty much untouchable and you can zoom through a battle in and out without having to dodge and it it takes up a very little bit of your focus instead of taking up your actual stamina okay so those are just some elements to play with and to go forward. Now we're going to talk about the talisman to end this video because they're very critical. I've changed my talisman depending on what boss and weapon I'm using. For example, the current one I have, it's all about chaining strikes. So I have a very cool one, twin blade talisman. Then I also have this one right here, this amazing when it comes to successive attacks the more strikes i do the higher the damage is and the reason why that's important for this specific playstyle is because this combination right here is incredible okay so with that combination i'm able to boost my damage as i strike okay so now that depends on your playstyle. if that's not what you want to do if you're rocking a moon katana i always talk about using this right here which lowers your fp and then I would put on even more things to complement that as critical hits restore FP. So that means when I do a moon veil against an enemy and I stun them, I get a critical strike. I'm going to get more FP back. So it's kind of boosting up my FP. And on top of that, you could just complement these things by putting on things that, for example, right here, raise attack when your HP is maxed out. Usually you want to be maxed out on your HP. So you put that on there. So there's just different combinations and it honestly depends on how you want to play. If you want to enhance your fire, your lightning, they have that for you. There's tons and tons of different elements to go by. And again, we can do a video breaking every single one down, but the principle of today is to give you an idea on how to play with your build and create the synergy that fits best for your play style. All right, so those are just some elements and some things to do on how to enhance your play style and your experience as a player. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Peace. Love.